Thank you very much, Bill, and welcome to this gathering, this annual gathering of people who know deep in their hearts that poetry is somehow better than prose. And <laughs> all those years that people said, you know, you've got to leave poetry, you've got to leave it, but we chose to remain in poetry, didn't we? And they said, look, prose offered us more. Prose said, look, you can have 350 million extra words a week in prose. And we said, no, we want to stick with poetry. And we've heard they might be doing another vote because we don't, we want to vote again to stay, to stay with poetry forever. And that'd be a great thing. We never want to leave poetry. And the audience tonight knows that very much. <laughs> of course, there could be the odd vote for origami, but that, uh, that might also happen. So tonight, it's the annual readings, as you know, of 10 poets who've been shortlisted for the T.S. Eliot Poetry Awards. This year, because it's the 25th awards, we're increasing the prize money to 25,000 pounds, which is fantastic. Yes, very good. We want to live long enough to do the 100th award, obviously, and 1,500 pounds for the shortlisted prizes. And also, to mark the anniversary, high quality videos of the shortlisted poets being produced to make their work accessible to a worldwide audience. Those unlucky people throughout the world who can't be here tonight for this fantastic event. The Poetry Book Society was set up, as we know, by T.S. Eliot and some friends of his in 1953 to support poets, poetry publishers and readers. The Poetry Book Society established this fantastic prize in 1993 to honour its founding poet. Last year, the T.S. Eliot Foundation took over the running of the prize. So thanks as ever to the T.S. Eliot trustees who've continued the tradition established by Mrs. Valerie Eliot, who provided the winner's cheque from the inception of the prize. So the format is the same as it always is. Five poets will read in each half. Five poets reading for eight minutes each. Or those you know, as they read, time stops. It seems to go on for months, if not years, <laughs> if not decades, but in a good way, in a great way. We look and we think, as eight minutes pass, that can't be. I seem to have been back to the very beginning of recorded time and off the other way. So the eight minutes are a great eight minutes. 